Right. So, Kurt, yes. your, your morning session so far has been incredibly energetic. Um, everybody is really into it. Um, where does your, where's your energy come from as far as, you, from the beginning, you started with dentistry. Mm -hmm. You've been in dentistry. How did you get started working with dentists? Yeah, I would have never picked dentistry. It was one of those things that I just kind of fell into. Um, I worked in a dental laboratory and I always wanted to be a school teacher. I, that was my dream, is to be a school teacher and a coach and something like that. But I had family members that were school teachers that said, don't be a school teacher because you, know, you, you don't get paid very much. Or this or, and it was, it was a weird roundabout way, but it ended up finding that there was an industry that actually helped, you know, side of the industry that helped dentists and improve uh, their lives and their businesses and uh, seminars. And I just kind of ate it up. And I naturally, I was, I'm a recovering CE junkie. So um, it was a really, really good fit, and uh, it's, dentistry is the most amazing profession ever. So I'm just grateful every day. I would have never picked this. I, I always just say I fell into it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, starting off in the lab, we have a lot of lab technicians in our in our organization. Yeah. Um, so, how do you stay fresh and on on topic with what's new in dentistry? Yeah. I think one of the things is. Um, with, with all the things that are happening in dentistry, the, the, one of the principles that I learned from Pete Dawson early on is he, he, I asked him one day, I said, what would be the one piece of advice you'd give me, somebody that's excited about a future in dentistry? He just said, listen to me, always keep learning at the forefront and stay away from dentists that have it all figured out because you're gonna find that those people aren't the most interesting to hang out anyway. And because there's a couple things that happen. When you put learning in front of money, it keeps you young, keeps you engaged. And uh, I met a dentist last week, he's 79 years old. I, said, I go, you're 79? He goes, man, when you stop learning, you stop living. So I, I love the learning process. Uh, I don't ever want to say to myself, I have it all figured out. So this is the perfect fit for me. I think everybody's just got to find that, that perfect fit. So I'm, I'm blessed that I was able to find an industry or a position that I can provide value for people uh, in something I also enjoy. Well, what do you, where do you think, see uh, dentistry or cosmetic dentistry going in the next two to five years? Yeah. In the next two to five years, I see this. You know, you hear all of the arguments, and I've been in dentistry for now over 20 years. I mean, these conversations have constantly come up. Dentists were supposed to de um, disappear with the inflection of fluoride, you know, but the nation's sugar consumption went up 700% at the same time. So people aren't getting healthier, they're getting less healthy. And the same thing happened back 20 years ago. They said basically it was going to be fee for service or managed care and PPOs were going to disappear. Well, that didn't happen either. And so these premonitions keep happening in dentistry. What I'm find, finding is that dentistry is probably one of the most stable businesses that we can correct, provide great value. But I do believe with the leveling out of the economy, here's the one thing I would say about cosmetic dentistry or just dentistry in the future is that the playing field is now level. Now dentists are going to have to learn how to create significant value. One thing is for sure, consumers want more value for their money than ever. And back in the old days, which we call the heydays of dentistry, it was easy. You see a patient, They'd call your, call your office, you'd see the patient, comprehensive exam, the next appointment was a prep. Well, those days are gone. I mean, those, these days we're gonna need a lot more prep. There's gonna be built on trust and relationships are gonna be a big, huge part of this. So people will continue to absolutely thrive in dentistry, but it'll be the ones that figure that out. Right, so you're saying, you know, it's not just what you do, it's how you treat people and motivate your, you know, motivate your team to do the same. So customer care is, is, uh, is major. Absolutely, and it's also the creation of value. You know, value starts from the first phone call all the way through, and a lot of times dentists look at the, they don't understand that sales is a process, it's not an event. So a lot of times dentists consider it an event where they sit down in a consultation room to discuss where we're gonna go next and the wait is there. But really, value creation starts from the first phone call, from the first image, all that through, and those, if that's done really well, by the time the dentist sits with the patient, a process that's done really well, patients know it's probably gonna be expensive. I'm in great hands, I trust this person, and really, you're just kind of wrapping up the details. So that's when you know you've done a great job of value creation, and it's no different for any, any other business. You could argue all the changes in the marketplace, but businesses will survive today, and individuals that create tremendous relevant value for the people they serve. Wow, I totally believe that. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So, in your lecture, you also really hit heavy um, taking care of taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. taking care of your body. Yeah. You know, being able to stay healthy and continue to enjoy what you do and work is is crucial. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you motivate your how do you motivate your your doctors that you're coaching to do that? And do they follow through with that? Do you, you know, do you have health coaches on your team or? 
Yeah. Or is that something that you do? Well, you know how this works. You're a healthy guy. You know how it lends itself. I, I mean, our whole team is ingrained with the culture. And I, it all starts with me. And I can't ask somebody to be healthy when I'm not. And there's got to be a congruency of the message. First of all, I enjoy it. Um, and, and as a dentist, your ability to make an income would be greatly dependent on how healthy you stay, which a lot of dentists don't understand that. And the, there's, a, there's an illness about being committed to perfection, too. There's, right. It comes with exponential stress. People think, well, gosh, there's this wonderful place that you get to when you do high quality, great dentistry for people. Well, it's exponentially stressful and stress has to have compensation. And so I think it's an important component because a lot of people go into dental school, they don't realize dentistry is a sport. You know, it really truly is a sport. And like any athlete, you've got to train and prepare and think like, like those athletes do. Yeah, well, you're, you're, you're preaching to the choir here. You know? Yeah. Um, our organization, uh, how do you feel, you know, what our, what our organization, the Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, is providing, you know, from what you've seen just being here today? Yeah. Well, for the first thing I would say is that I'm having a, a great time. This is, a, this is one of the most energetic, connected groups of people. I walked in right away and I see great friends of mine that I haven't seen in years and instantly. I, you know when you walk in a room and you're like, ah, I'm in the right place, you know what I mean? And it's good to see those faces. So an amazing organization, um, gr unbelievable program this year. I feel just very blessed. I'm, it's crazy. Um, I'm crazy grateful just to be on the same program as Dr. Coachman. I mean, that's, that says a lot. Um, all right, so I'm just thrilled to be here, and uh, I highly encourage anybody to be involved with what you guys are doing. Well, thank you. I mean, I think that you are really the epitome of what our organization is all about. You know, being energy, you know, being energized to do what we do, and uh, you know, being able to go back Monday morning and you know, and light a spark. And I really appreciate that you're here. You know, we, you know, we we're. We've been, re, you know, looking for, you know, fresh and cutting speaker, for cutting edge speakers, and I think we found you. Cool. And uh, we hope to have you back. Hey, I'm thrilled to be here. I'd love to come back. So thank you very much for thank this you. opportunity. Thank you. Yeah.